Hello guys, Bingo Cat here, and I am back today with another review video, or tonight I guess. It is currently 11.30 p.m. and I have to be awake at 7 a.m. of course, but I can't sleep so why not do a video, am I right? So anyways, I am reviewing software today instead of hardware. I am reviewing a video editor called HitFilm3 Express. Now, I recommend this video editor first of all, it's what I use. It's also, for the most part, completely free. So first of all, how do you get Hit Film 3 Express? Well, open up your internet browser, go to this URL, https colon slash slash hitfilm.com slash express. I'll put the link in the description. You can also Google it if you want. And you click get Hit Film 3 Express for free and it's gonna make you sign up for an account, but either way, eventually, you can download it. So then, when I actually go to Hit Film, um, when I actually go to Hit Film, you just click new the creative film but I am just gonna go ahead and take a movie that I recently actually created um, such as Windows Vista 2016 and the files are missing whatever 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 so let's just I'm not gonna relink the video files because I'm lazy so let's just delete them instead so how is this the best free video editor though you may ask well, first of all, it can't do 4K, but it can do pretty much any other video resolution up to 1080p. It can also do 60 frames per second. And it has so many features that paid video editors have. Like, look at this. Audio. Channel levels, and then it has blurs, angle blur, blur, diffuse, lens blur, motion blur, radio blur, zoom blur. Then it has color correction, audio color, audio contrast, etc. Color grading, distortion, generate... Um, you don't need to see that. Pond Ripple, then it has lights and flares, it even has keying and color difference key and chroma UV blur. Then it has lights, you see, look at all these effects. Like, seriously, like, what was it, keying? That's something you would expect in a paid editor. For just, I mean, forget free. You can also do text, composite images, etc. A lot of video tracks. The learning curve is really minimal. It's if you use Movie Maker, you can use this, or if you use iMovie, you can use this. So, like, here's just a video, my intro video in this editor right now. And as you can see, it renders pretty well. It has real-time rendering, so if you're editing, it's easy to tell what you want to edit, etc. Um, then. Exporting options, on the other hand, are a little bit limited compared to a lot of other video editors. You can export to YouTube, you can export to AVI for some reason, then image sequence, and then this is my favorite, H2.64. It is pretty much one of the best video compression formats. My only biggest gripe is that you can only save it to MP4, but for most people that won't be a matter, and MP4 is probably my favorite anyways. But in like Movie Maker, there's all sorts of different file formats you can save it to, but on this, it's just these four up here. So that is kind of limited to me, but other than that, um, I've never actually explored here. Great video editor, great editing. I highly recommend it. It's completely free. Just go to the link in the description. And if I gave it, if I had to rate it on a five star scale, I scale, I'd give it a perfect 5. So yeah, thank you for watching, like and subscribe, hope to see you guys next time.